Prince Andrew and King Charles III walked together during their mother's recent funeral, putting their disagreements and lifelong differences to one side. The death of Queen Elizabeth II marked the beginning of Charles' reign, and a new era of royalty. He and his wife, Camilla, Queen Consort, are now challenged with continuing the legacy of Elizabeth II while stamping their own mark on monarchical history. However, according to some, these efforts could have been thwarted if certain members of the firm had had their way. In her new book, the royal biographer Angela Levin dissects the intricate relationships of many of the royals, including that shared between Charles and Andrew. She claims that Andrew, whose legal team earlier this year reached an out-of-court settlement with Virginia Jufri, the American who accuses the Queen's son of sexual assault, allegations which he vehemently denies, has rarely got on well with Charles. Talking about the time just before Charles and Camilla married, she alleges that Andrew did not want Camilla around. Justin, Harry taken aback when AIDS knew Meghan Earring's origin, author says Prince Andrew lobbied hard for Charles not to become king, according to Levin, Image, Getty, Queen's Funeral, Senior Royals pictured at the Queen's Funeral, Image, Getty, new claim over Meghan's abandoned flight to Scotland Prince Harry cut a lonely figure as he arrived in Scotland hours after his brother and other relations following news the Queen had died. It was thought he missed the flight as he was told Meghan should not come. Click here to find out what really happened. More scandalously, however, is Ms. Levin's claim that Andrew lobbied hard to make sure Charles did not become king. In an abridged extract from her new book, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, From Outcast to Queen Consort, published in the Daily Telegraph, she writes that when Diana was alive, through her friendship with Andrew's wife Sarah, Duchess of York, she plotted with Andrew to try to push Prince Charles aside so Prince Andrew could become regent to Prince William, who was then a teenager. They were dark and strange times, where paranoia became reality, and this was a worry. Andrew lobbied very hard with the hope that Charles would not become king when his mother died, and that William would wear the crown. The brothers are known to have shared a strained relationship, image, Getty, trending his behavior was very, very negative and extremely unpleasant to Queen, Elizabeth, who disagreed. I was told it was one of the rare occasions he didn't get his way. Nonetheless, he was apparently very angry that he couldn't rule the country in some way. He remained so hostile to Camilla's emergence and acceptance that it's doubtful it has ever been forgiven. That Charles and Andrew's relationship has been strained is no news. Neil Sean, a showbiz commentator writing for Fox News, previously claimed that their connection was virtually non-existent. Don't miss King Charles' work ethic and demanding boss reputation laid bare, report, Queen removed compromise for Harry and Meghan, insight, Harry considered surprising Queen with visit over Megxit, analysis, Levine claims that Andrew hoped to become regent to William, image, Getty, Diana and Fergie were extremely close during their marriages to Charles and Andrew, image, Getty, at the time, the Queen was increasingly relying on the likes of Charles and Prince William, now the Prince of Wales, to carry out official duties due to her mobility issues. In the piece, published in July, Mr. Sean said, Andrew faces the wrath of his older brother Prince Charles even more now than ever. Today the relationship is virtually non-existent due to the extra workload that Charles and William have undertaken since the Queen has almost semi-retired now, which left Andrew to fill his time watching old movies on TV, visiting his mother at the castle and plotting that comeback which may now never happen. Elsewhere in the book, Ms. Levin explores delves into Camilla's history within the family, including her reception by the Queen. Camilla was initially rejected by the Queen but later accepted into the royal fold, image, Getty, she writes that the former monarch was initially hesitant to accept her into the fold. It was only after the couple announced their engagement in 2005, 35 years after their first meeting, did Camilla and the Queen's relationship reach a turning point. 
for engagement ring had previously belonged to the Queen Mother and then the Queen before it was handed to her. Ms. Levin says it was proof that, the Queen, had finally accepted Charles's determination to marry her. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, from Outcast to Queen Consort by Angela Levin, is published by Simon & Schuster and is out later this month.